Hi everyone, Christian Aparicio here again. Um, today we're going to go over some of the optimization types in MSC Nastran. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, if you want training on optimization, you can contact me here at the email address and I'll definitely get back to you. The first type I want to go over is size optimization. This is something I specialize in. Normally when you have a vehicle, um, say for example this aircraft, you look at the individual finite elements that are used to define the model. Uh, here we use planar or two-dimensional elements to describe a piece of the fuselage. Some of the beams are described with one-dimensional or line elements. And by themselves, they don't have too much of a significance. It's not until you define the parameters that define the structural dimensions of these elements that is when it finally has a significance in your simulation, for example. Here, if you have a line element where the cross-section is a T section, you would, in size optimization, let each uh, structural dimension be a design variable. Here, if you were dealing with a composite laminate on the left, you would perhaps let the orientation angles be design variables. Then with M or size optimization, MSC National will take these various parameters or design variables that you've specified and it will vary those through the design cycles while simultaneously finding a minimum or a maximum to your objective. In this case, we're trying to minimize weight. So again, with size optimization, we're taking the... Um, Structural dimensions of the elements, um, they can even be material properties, and the list is very long, actually. You can set those as design variables, and MSC National will optimize those for you. The next one on the list is topology optimization. The whole, generally, at a very basic level, you take a block of material, you uh, constrain your model, you apply various loads to it, you have multiple load cases. The optimizer will then decide what material is critical for this design and which material is not critical. The not critical is essentially removed from the design. You'll get something like this at the end, which you then smooth out. You take a CAD package and then finish up the final design. So here in red is the beginning uh, design and after topology. Uh, this could be an after the process. This could be your final design in the bottom right hand corner. Shape optimization. In this case, what you are doing is you're allowing the, the facades, the faces of your solid to contract or expand. Here in this case, you can see that these faces that I'm highlighting with the laser pointer, these have actually contracted during the optimization process. Actually, multiple faces have con contracted. Um, and that's what shape optimization is. You basically are uh, allowing the profile to change. Topography optimization. Um, I wish I had a better example, but I think this demonstrates the point though. Here in red is the original design. Uh, you'll notice that it's completely flat here in red. After um, the green piece, if you will, has um, troughs and raises to it. What topo topography optimization allows you to do is it allows the nodes to move transverse to the original plane. And hence, you can see that very subtly with this green example. Let's go ahead and move to an actual real world example. Here, we're looking at the rear of a pickup truck, uh, specifically the trunk lid, if you will. Here, this, this piece that I'm highlighting here with the hand icon, this could have potentially been a flat piece to begin with. But you see these uh, normal raises to the plane. This is a great example of what a topometry, topography, I should say, uh, optimization would give you. And that's topography. Let's go on, on to the next example, topometry. This type of optimization is kind of similar to size optimization, but with the difference. Here, we're going to use this cantilever plate with the pressure distribution to demonstrate the example. Uh, normally, again, uh, we're describing this play with uh, two-dimensional or flat elements. By itself, there's no significance until you give it a parameter. In this case, we're giving it a structural dimension of thickness. This one thickness applies to 
the entire plate. It applies to the entire all the elements. Normally with size optimization, you vary that one thickness. And so when the optimization occurs, the entire thickness of the whole plate is optimized. With With topometry optimization, what you are doing is, when you say you want to modify the thickness in a topometry optimization, what you are saying is, each element has a design variable for thickness of its own. So, here is the result of a topometry optimization where we said vary the thickness. It will give each element its own thickness design variable. And in the end, you're going to end up with each thickness having its own individual new optimized uh, size parameter, if you will. In this case, it was thickness. And so the biggest difference between size and topometry is that with size, you're optimizing one property for the entire uh, plate in this case. With topometry, it's optimization at the individual element level. And there are various other types of uh, uh, examples, but this one was perhaps one of the more clearer ones. And uh, a few less comments. Uh, again, I spe specialize in size optimization. Uh, I offer training in this uh, uh, type of optimization. I should also say that um, these past types I just described are not the only types of optimization in MSC Nastran. There's nonlinear optimization. So if your structure is behaving nonlinearly, you can optimize for that. If you have multiple models, you can use the multi-model optimization capability to handle that. And the list goes on after that. But here I specialize in size optimization. But if you have uh, questions on topology, topography, topometry, feel free to reach out to me at this email address here in the bottom right hand corner. And I'd be more than glad to refer you to a good expert for those types. But if it's size optimization, definitely feel free to reach out to me. One special thing I'm offering too is this customized web application for MSG Nastran size optimization. This web app allows you to create your design models for size optimization a lot faster and a lot easier than what's out there. Um, it's available in my training that I also provide. Uh, here, as a final gesture, I'll leave some links, so feel free to click on the screen, and this will point you to any of these three videos where you see quick demos of how fast you can create your design variables, your design constraints, and your design objective. With that, again, thank you for watching this video, and I look forward to having you watch my future video videos. Thank you.